In a remote Danish fishing town, a teenager is seen as a dangerous threat by the locals after she undergoes mysterious and drastic physical changes. In a clinic, Dr. Larson examines teenager Marie due to a rash on her chest. He asks her if she's noticed other symptoms aside from the red patch of skin, but she says no. Then he continues the assessment by inspecting her fingertips and the inside of her mouth. Lastly, he instructs Marie to lay on her stomach before checking the skin on her back. Before she leaves, Dr. Larson tells her to return in a month for the next appointment. After the doctor's appointment, Marie rides her bike to the store where she takes a lollipop from a jar. She then heads to the back room to ask her father Thor if she can take her mother out for a stroll. The man says she can, but reminds her not to stay out for too long since the woman is tired. So the teen takes the wheelchair-bound catatonic woman onto the end of a pier, where they spend a few minutes watching the ocean. That evening, Marie helps feed her mother then clears the table, while Thor takes the woman to their room. Later while preparing for bed, the teen notices slight changes to the rash on her chest. The next morning, she gets dressed for her first day of work in the fish processing plant. The supervisor takes her around the workplace and says that since she's new, it's her responsibility to get rid of the fish waste at the end of the day. Then the man orders Felix to show the teen how things are done in the plant. After wearing gloves and holding a knife over the fish, Marie looks around at what the other workers are doing. When Felix sees the confused look on her face, he shows her how to properly fillet a fish. Across the room, Esben, another worker, gives her a smile. Moments later, Bjorn and Danielle arrive carrying containers full of fish. When Danielle spots Marie, he gives her a smile but Esben trips him, and his fish container spills on the floor. Annoyed, Marie helps the man clean up the spilled contents and he thanks her. As Danielle turns to leave, he gives the teen one last smile to Esben's annoyance. That afternoon, while Marie climbs up the side of the container to dispose of the fish waste, the mischievous co-worker pushes her, causing her to fall into the foul-smelling water. Bjorn helps her out of the container, and to her surprise, all of her co-workers are there applauding. She realizes it was an initiation prank for newbies, and Jonna sprays her with a hose. Seconds later, the supervisor hands Marie her apron and knife. When she arrives at the house, she finds Dr. Larson speaking to her father. The teen sees Thor slide a brown envelope over to the physician, who places it in his briefcase. Thor explains that her mother's injection marks are inflamed, which is why he called the doctor. While the men tend to the woman, Marie sees her mother's eyes fixated on Dr. Larson's bag. She takes this as a sign to grab the brown envelope, which the teen does. In her room, she takes out the envelope's contents and finds medical reports and photos showing incision-like slash wounds on several lifeless men's bodies. Suddenly, her father calls her downstairs to help with her mother, so she hides the envelope under the bed. Later, the teen curiously watches Thor injecting medication into her mother's arm. That evening, Marie hears noise coming from the bathroom. However, when she peeks inside, she sees Thor shaving long, coarse hair from her mother's back. That night, the teen dreams of a clothless woman covered in blood snarling animalistically. The next morning, she sees Esben glaring at her from across the room. Then Danielle arrives, and the supervisor tells her to help the man unload the truck outside. When they finish, Danielle introduces himself to the teen and offers her a cigarette. Suddenly, Bjorn returns to the truck, interrupting their conversation. Later in the break room, Esben pesters Marie with questions, despite the teen making it clear that that she doesn't want to speak to him. However, he makes a rude remark about her mother, prompting Marie to throw her glass in his direction. The object misses the man by inches and shatters on the wall behind him. When a woman asks what happened, Felix says Esben broke his glass, so the woman tells him to clean it up. While the irate man sweeps the shards off the floor, the teen gives Felix a grateful smile. Later, Marie and Felix hang outside, where he offers her illegal substances and asks how her mom is is doing. After work, while the teen is all alone in the locker room, two masked men attack her. They force her down to her knees, and one of them threatens to violate her with something underneath his apron. As the frightened teen struggles, a vein appears on her neck, and the man reveals that it's actually just a fish under the apron, but still forces Marie to kiss it. The men remove their masks, and she sees that it was Bjorn and Esben who continue to laugh at her as they leave. 
At home, Marie finishes her bath and stands in front of the mirror. She checks the rash on her chest and notices a few strands of coarse hair growing from the red patch of skin. Then she stares at her own eyes in the mirror and sees her pupils getting smaller. Suddenly, she throws a glass on the wall. Then, as she undulates like an animal on the floor, hair sprouts down her back and she snarls. Seconds later, Thor knocks on the door and asks if she's okay. The teen gets back on her feet and says, as she's all right. The next day, while Marie takes her mother on a stroll, Danielle passes by on his scooter and introduces himself to the older woman. Then he asks the teen if she'd like to go out sometime and she says she'll think about it. Later, as she feeds her mother, Marie makes a mess on the woman's face on purpose. When Thor admonishes the teen, she says she just wants to know what's actually wrong with her mother. She heads to her room, and when her father asks what's going on with her, the teen opens the door to show him the rash on her chest. After inspecting the rash, Marie shaves the hair off with a razor. Then she pours over the envelope's contents again and sees an illustration of a feral woman covered in hair. She also finds a picture of a rusty boat. Moments later, she sees Dr. Larson arrive outside their house. The teen eavesdrops on the doctor and her father's conversation, who says that Marie has all the symptoms his wife had. When the physician asks if he's told the others, Thor says no. Eventually, she joins the two men, and her father says the doctor is there to speak to her about her illness. Dr. Larson explains that if she has the same condition her mother does, she'll likely grow more body body hair and experience emotional changes, such as shorter tempers and aggressiveness. He thinks she should take the same medication, but Marie refuses then leaves the house. She heads to the boat in the picture, and in the lower level, finds deep scratches underneath the wooden trap door. That night, she visits Felix to ask him if he knows who owns the boat, and he says some Russians did. However, when she asks if her mother was ever on the boat, the man's expression changes and all he says is that her mother was beautiful, but people were afraid of her, the same way they're now afraid of Marie. Then, Felix takes her to a bar where they drunkenly dance as Esben and Danielle observe. Minutes later at the bar, Marie tells Danielle that she's turning into a monster and that she'd like to sleep with someone before it happens. She leads him to a dark corner of the bar where they begin making out. Soon, the intoxicated pair are stumbling on the beach and end up inside an abandoned bunker near the water. As they begin to make love, Danielle runs his hand over her back and feels the coarse hair. His surprised reaction offends her, so the teen tells him to leave. However, she changes her mind and they make love. During the deed, more hair sprouts down her back, and while in the throes of passion, Marie's eyes turn yellow. Hours later, when Marie returns home and lays in bed, Thor and Dr. Larson enter her room and hold her down. The father tells the physician to hurry up and inject the sedative-like medication into his daughter. Suddenly, the mother pounces on Dr. Larson and tackles him to the floor, before biting his neck until he perishes. Minutes later, the father and daughter bury the man's body in a shallow grave in the front yard. Then, Marie baits the catatonic woman who has trouble keeping herself in a seated position. Frustrated, the teen lays her head on the edge of the tub. The woman has a brief moment of lucidity and touches her daughter's head gently. Meanwhile, Thor places grass over the dirt to properly conceal the fresh grave. When he looks up, he sees his wife and daughter by the window watching him. He enters the house and tells Marie to go to bed. The teen asks if the Russians did something to her mother, prompting her to kill them, and if Thor also had to dispose of their bodies to protect his wife. Defeated and knowing there's no sense keeping secrets from Marie, the man nods. The next day, Ib, Bjorn, and Janna drop by the house to ask Thor if he's seen Dr. Larson who's been reported missing. Thor lies and says the last time he saw the doctor was a week ago. However, they have a hard time believing his claim. Since the physician's wife told them Dr. Larson was headed to his house yesterday, the trio seem to be aware of Thor's wife's history, so they politely demand that they be allowed to examine her. After assessing the woman's body for excess hair and checking her fingertips, Bjorn inspects her gums. The man is startled when she lets out a cuff, and his reaction causes Marie to crack a smile. 
Furious, Bjorn calls her out and reveals that he's been keeping an eye on her as well. Soon, the teen returns to work at the fish processing plant, where her co-workers glare at her. That afternoon when she arrives home, she sees the front door ajar. Marie searches the house for her mother and finally finds the woman lifelessly submerged in the bathtub. Minutes later, Thor arrives, and when he sees his distraught daughter, realizes that something's wrong. Marie hears her father wail in anguish from the bathroom and sobs silently. Days later, as the hearse drives off, Thor and his daughter share a somber embrace. Then, the father spots Bjorn watching them from a distance. Before the funeral service, the bearded man approaches the grieving husband and offers his condolences. Because Thor thinks he might be responsible for his wife's death, he initially refuses to shake his hand. Inside the church, Marie notices that her fingertips look swollen, with bloody skin around her nails. After the funeral, the attendees convene for a light meal and coffee. When the teen looks around the room and sees some guests seemingly in a jolly mood, she serves the coffee herself, making sure they can all see her fingertips. Panicked, Thor realizes what his daughter is doing, so he grabs her and tells her to go home. Later at dinner, Marie decides to antagonize her father further by chewing on her glass, unfazed by the blood pouring out of her mouth. The next day, she sees that her fingertips are still red and swollen. As she's about to leave for work, she looks in the mirror and touches the hair that's grown on her forehead. When Thor sees his daughter put her coat on, he discourages her from leaving, explaining that he won't be able to protect her if she decides to go out into the world looking the way she does. However, despite her father's warning, the teen leaves. After she changes into her work clothes in the locker room, she looks in a mirror and sees the coarse hair on the side of her neck. At her workstation, everyone around the room continues glaring at her, except for Danielle who gives her a smile. That evening, she opens her locker, but finds that someone placed fish inside it. She cleans it up, then walks out of the building to her bike. Suddenly, a rock narrowly misses her, and when she turns around, sees several men on motorcycles pursuing her. Marie runs away and heads towards Felix's house. She begs him to let her in, but he doesn't answer. However, when she looks into the house through the window, sees him standing in the dark actively refusing to help her. Enraged, the teen snarls at the man. She runs down a dark road while Esben chases her on his scooter. When he loses sight of the teen, he stops to look around. Suddenly, Marie jumps out of the tall grass and pounces on the man, then ends his life by tearing at his throat with her teeth. Eventually, she hides in the abandoned bunker by the beach. Soon, Danielle finds her and says he'll get them a boat so they can sail away together. Despite the man's orders to stay in the bunker and await his return, Marie decides to go back to her house to pack some of her belongings for the trip. In a backpack, she places some clothes, the brown envelope, and a framed picture of of her mother. Thor enters her bedroom, and when he sees her bloody mouth, realizes she's too far gone in her transformation. So he gently touches his daughter's face and tells her never to let anybody walk all over her. Marie returns to the bunker where Bjorn hits her head with a bat to incapacitate her. Then the man and his companions take the teen to the docks where they keep her captive in the lower level of a boat. Danielle sees the events unfold and manages to sneak onto the vessel unnoticed. In the lower level, Marie, whose face and body is now covered in hair and her eyes yellow, sees the heavy metal door to the chamber creak open. On the boat's bridge, the captors, including Bjorn, Ib, Jana, and Felix, wonder if they've got rope on board, so the woman volunteers to find some. When she heads to the back, she sees the trap door open and realizes that their prisoner escaped. Suddenly, an animalistic prowler attacks Jana, and the men hear her screams. Bjorn checks the deck, but when he turns around, witnesses Marie attacking Ib inside the bridge. The bearded man cowers below deck and finds Jonna's body. When he's about to escape through another door, Danielle closes it and locks it from the other side, despite Bjorn's pleas. The frightened man runs to the radio to call for help. Suddenly, Marie places her hand over his, before baring her sharp teeth and attacking him. Above deck, Felix hears the man scream while hiding beneath the nets. Seconds later, the feral teen pounces on him and tears into his neck. Soon, Danielle slowly approaches Marie, whose expression softens when she realizes who he is 
is and cries softly in his arms. The next morning, while the lifeless bodies are littered all over the boat, Marie wakes up, but soon returns to her peaceful slumber when she realizes that Danielle is still by her side.